All right, today we're going to focus on sharpening your lawnmower blades. Uh, again, like most things we do that we try to show you here, it's, it's, there's not a lot of magic to it. Just a little common sense, a couple tools, go a long way. Uh, at one time we used a file. And you can still use a file if that's what you have. Uh, it just, these are hardened metal, tempered steel, and it takes a whole lot of filing. I prefer a Dremel tool with a little sanding drum attachment. It'll do a fine job. You may wear one or two of the little drums out, but uh, they'll sure sharpen your blades up. As long as you haven't been running through tree stumps and uh, big rocks, then I don't know if anything can save it. Or, my favorite is an angle grinder. This is a Bosch. Uh, there's a hundred different brands available anymore. Uh, and I use, rather than a grinding wheel, a flap wheel and this is a brand new flap wheel and once they're used just a little bit they get worn down to where they almost buff and polish the metal uh, it'll put a really fine edge on something like this and unless you're grinding some really heavy rusted metal uh, it'll more than do the job this particular blade is a mulching blade that's why it's so convoluted and odd shaped uh, typically a cutting blade like what I use uh, it just has a straight edge all across here it doesn't have these bends and folds and such but it it doesn't matter what kind of blade it is all you're trying to do is sharpen the edge along here so that you're cutting the grass rather than tearing it uh, it's healthier for your lawn it looks better um, you can take your blades off, take them to somebody and have them sharpened. Myself, uh, I save myself a few bucks, and uh, I'm not mowing a golf course. I'm just trying to maintain my own lawn and and keep it looking pretty. Uh, it saves you time, saves you money, and you can do this several times. The idea is to follow the angle of the existing edge that's already on it. Uh, somebody spent a lot of time determining that was the best angle. I'm not going to tell you what the angle is. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're just going to sharpen the edge that already exists and bring it back to a point rather than, than being rounded off. As you can see, this blade doesn't have a lot of nicks. So it's not going to be really tough to bring back. I'm going to turn this Dremel tool on and demonstrate it first. And uh, while it's running, I will not try any narration because I can't talk over this. Make sure you have eye protection before you start. Alright, now you'll notice that I wasn't running the Dremel wide open, about half throttle. Two reasons. Gives you a little more control, and it doesn't heat this up. You do not want to get this blade hot. It will take the temper out of it. Now, the blade was specially heat treated, so it would hold an edge longer. So if you're going to use a power tool, be sparing and gentle. But anyway, the Dremel will cut it. As you can see, it hasn't worn the drum down terribly. I think you could do probably two full blades if they weren't in terrible shape. 
Now we're going to move on to the angle grinder. Again, make sure you have eye protection. I'm just going to run over this once or twice and show you how quick it'll bring it up. Now, you can see there's a couple little nicks. Eh, sorry about it. I must have hit a piece of gravel in the driveway. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So we worked on putting an edge on this side. Now we're going to look at the back. The back could use a touching. We're not really going to try and take much material off. Just even it up a little bit. All we did was even this up so it'll bring the front to an edge a little better. Now you may need to turn it over, let this side cool, turn it around, work on the other side. Count your strokes with the same pressure each time. Give it to each side whether it needs it or not. It's going to keep these close enough to balance that you shouldn't have any trouble. I've sharpened my own blades for years and years. Just give it a little time, a little effort, a little thought. Don't get in a big hurry. You can save yourself some money, save yourself some time. With the right tools, a technique or two, you can make anything happen. Thank you.